your story, right, your story tells you to do <laughs> what? To not follow up, right? Right. Okay. So how do you ignore the story? You just go ahead and call anyway. Right. But now, that sounds logical, but why are we not doing it? Remember, what are we missing here? Value and? Belief. Belief. The higher your value and belief is, the easier it is for you to ignore your story. For example, right. if your neighbor's house is on fire and you knock on their door once and their house is still on fire and they don't open the door, will you keep knocking? Yeah, you probably just run in. Well, maybe not. But. Yeah, why? <laughs> Because right. your value and belief is so high. Number one, you believe they're going to lose their life. Number two, you have a value on life. Number two, you have a value on them as friends or just their life. So these are so you're not going to care if you wake them up. Why would you care if you wake them up? They're about to die. So it's an overboard right. illustration. But why are you going through? Why are you actually opening their door without their permission? Let's say you don't even know them. What right do you think you have to open somebody's door and you don't even have their permission? That's called burglary. Ah, but there's a value and belief formula in here that we have to consider that's going to cause us to do that. So that's we're, we'll always go back to value and belief. Now remember, if your value and belief isn't totally there yet, you got to work on that. But the other thing is, why is it so hard to ignore your story? Never forget this, Wendy, because you're trying to do something opposite of how you feel. And any time you try to do anything opposite of how you feel, you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel as if you're lying. So what do you do? You reward it. And how do you reward it? You go back to your stupid little story. We all do this. 